Hey kittens, Silver here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Save Our Space or SOS Doll plush. I thought it would be interesting to bring out this plush in particular uh, because he's one of those very seldom seen, hard to find plushies, and dolls just in general are really not represented in plush form, um, just as a general rule. Uh, I believe that Save Our Space might be the only company who's made a doll plush, as far as I know. I, I could be wrong, um, but I will be completely honest and, and, and say that I did not know what a doll was prior to finding about this plush. Uh, and he is definitely one of the more obscure, lesser known breeds. So I thought I'd give you a little overview of him and uh, maybe just talk a little bit about dolls in general for those of you who don't know about them, uh, as I certainly didn't. So dolls are actually a type of wild dog, and they're found on the Asian continent exclusively. Uh, they are also an endangered species, um, mostly due to loss of habitat, um, loss of food sources, and competing with other animals, and, and being hunted, unfortunately. So, um, so they are, you know, sort of at risk of sort of uh, just going out of existence entirely. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, but they, they are a very distinctive looking dog, mostly because of the sort of red rusty colored coat, um, which is almost sort of fox-like, uh, especially when you take into account the, uh, the tail, which is usually tipped in, uh, like a, a brown or, or well, this almost looks black, but this is actually a very dark brown fabric. Um, and then they have the paler fur underneath. You can see he's got his cute little white tummy and the white right underneath his muzzle here. And uh, dolls actually make some pretty wild sounds. I remember seeing a documentary uh, probably a few months back, and it's worth checking out just to see some of the noises that dolls are capable of making. Um, there's all kinds of things. They actually, they whistle, they make clucking noises, they even make these screaming noises, which uh, you really just have to hear to, <laughs> to get the full effect. Um, and they also are very, very social animals as well. So, uh, so they definitely travel in packs and, uh, and are, um, you know, highly dependent on one another. So, um, as for this plush though, he is, I would say probably about, uh, maybe 12 or 13 inches long from, from his nose to his back end. And then the tail would add a few good extra inches. Um, and he's got... So nice airbrush markings, um, some down his snout here and underneath his mouth. And you can also see some more detailing right here on his ears. And he's got that nice white fabric on the inside of the ears as well. And some more little airbrush details right there. This one actually looks like, well, maybe this one sort of wore away a little bit. And he's also got the toe marks as well on all four of his feet. Very cute. And we could take a look at his tush tag as well. So there's the SOS logo. Ooh, it's not focusing too well, but I believe this plush was actually manufactured in 2003, if I remember. Yep, so <laughs> it's not really focusing, but there it is, 2003. So uh, I'd say he's held up pretty well, considering he's pretty close to being 20 years old. Uh, what is it? I guess he'd be 18 years old, approximately, at the time of this video. And, oh yeah, he also has the nice... Uh, sort of brown eyes. You could probably see right there and then a little bit of airbrush markings on either side. And he has a black plastic nose. And he's, uh, I would say he's pretty floppy. Um, yeah, not not like, well, he does have a lot of beans in, the, in his back end. Um, but yeah, he's reasonably floppy actually. Uh, he's kind of got these little short stub legs, so um, so when you you know have him seated like that, he's sort of in a kind of almost crouching pose. He kind of looks downward, but um, but yeah, you can kind of 
Well, he doesn't really sit upright in any other position. You'd kind of have to prop him up in a in, a, in some special way to to get him to uh, to look upward. But um, the face on him is so so sweet and just so unique. And he he almost has like a little bit of a mane going on, or like a fringe sort of uh, around his face. So yeah, a lot of people sort of do mistake him for a fox plush, but uh, but he is a canine. Um, and a very, very unique one at that, and one that I absolutely never, ever imagined I was going to um, be able to add to my collection. Uh, it was only due to just the grace and the generosity of one of my best friends, Stacy, who sent this plush to me uh, right around Christmas time of last year. And there's a very, very enthusiastic unboxing video on my channel just documenting that day and just the utter amazement and just awe that I felt um, just seeing this guy for the first time. I, I never, ever imagined to actually um, own this plush and, and see it up close and in person. Uh, and it was actually also previously owned by uh, my other best friend, Trickster. Um, so it's that makes him even more special. It's kind of like sort of uh, having a little a little piece of uh, of her collection here with me at all times. So, uh, so this plush has a lot of personal meaning for me. Um, and again, he's just truly one of a kind. Um, probably the only manufactured doll plush in existence. Um, I really don't think that any other company has, has taken this particular uh, dog on, which is kind of a shame. It, it would be really nice to give him sort of a uh, more visibility, I think. But, um, but yeah, so that's him, and I named him Darby, which seemed to suit for some reason. It was just sort of one of those names that just just occurred to me on the spur of a moment and seemed perfect. Um, so, so that is Darby, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little guy. And I will be back again soon with your next plush fix very, very soon. Bye, everybody.